Yeah. Good to see you. Uh, yeah. Oh, I do the intro. Oh, yeah, always. Oh, okay. Yeah. First things first, good morning, y'all. Welcome to the casting couch. <laughs> yeah, a little change of pace from uh, the studio we the built. Oh, the studs. The studio we assembled in my spare room. Yeah, it was fucking banging. I mean, it was kind of tight. It did the job. Yeah, I mean, we fit good. Lighting, good. Yeah, lighting was great. A little hot. We don't have the lighting today, so... Yeah, there's a light. There's one light that is not a white light, so we'll see how that yeah. works out for us. But it's not flattering you for sure. Nothing does. No. Except you, because you always hit on me at work. But. Well... It's actually a good thing we don't really have an HR. That'd be bad. Like you'd, you'd <laughs> they'd think, be all over us. You think that like blue collar, like sexual harassment would <laughs> be lower? Because it's mostly dudes. Yes. So much higher. It's yeah. Like the amount of times, like I'll make a comment to a guy of like, "Yo, like, get on over here. <laughs> You're looking cute today." It all the time. It, smacking butt. It gets up there. Yeah. yeah. If there was an HR person on site, oh, uh, yeah, they'd they'd probably start to file like the issue, and then they'd bring the other guy in. They'd be like, "Hey, so we noticed they were um, making some comments towards you." They'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, that's how we communicate. That is normal." Yeah, yeah. Pass we, me the tool. No, we talk oh, about suck my dick. We talk about throating each other like often. Like there's there's nothing wrong. Why are you? Yeah. Why are you making a complaint about this? Uh, what Karen? is it that you often do when you drive up to my truck? When you come to see me, what, what is that motion that you're doing? Oh, your I think it goes some along the lines of a uh, <laughs> some, little something like that. A little spit will come out sometimes. <laughs> I've seen you drool. Yeah. I, I've seen you bullseye it too. Like I'm pretty good. You got, you got, got some... practice. And it's, it's, it, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird. If you think about it, it's kind of weird. But, like, do that to, like, a female coworker, oh. which we don't have. No. So there's no risk of us doing that. Male-dominated industry. Yeah. Neither of us also know how to talk to women, so. Literally horrified of them. Terrified. Terrified. Yeah. Like, I, I can't do it. I talk to my mom, my sisters, and my aunts. That's it. Other than that. Yeah. Your girlfriend, you don't speak to her? No. <laughs> text, text only, text only. Text, you see her in person, you get all shy. No, I, I literally don't talk to her in person. Yeah, because when I text, I have so much time to think of a response and not be yeah. an idiot. That, that's a good point. Oh, yeah. yeah. It helps quite a bit. So, i got a story for you, as usual. That's good. That's kind of the point of this. Yeah. Well, we don't have a lot to talk about anymore because now we get it all out in this, like, hour segment. And then we don't speak usually. For Which is nice, because I fucking hate hearing your voice. I cannot stand you. <laughs> Shut up. Don't I, did, I did it first, so you can't do that. Tell your fucking story. Anyway, irregardlessly. Expresso. So I was driving out here the other day, okay? What? Uh, driving out kind of late afternoon there, and the sun's... Hitting my rear view, going straight my balls. And I'm a sun sneezer. Uh. So when I get out in the sun and it's bright, usually got two bang off right out of the gate. Then yeah, I'm good to go after I have that. noticed that. Yeah. It's just the adjustment of, you know, coming from inside to outside, that yeah. light something. I don't know. Anyway. So I'm driving out here, okay? Mm. Sun hits me in the eyes in the truck. I'm like, oh, okay. Get a little tickle. A little, little tickle going up in the old sinus region there. One's coming. One's a coming, so I'm sitting there and I'm trying to, trying to conjure it, you know, like you're sitting there and you're trying to help it so it just gets over with. Yeah, you almost look at, at the sun a little more. Yeah, I stare like, straight right, into it, like I got blind spots now. Yeah. So I'm staring in the rear view, trying to fucking get the sneeze going, and it's just not coming, so I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm getting, getting hard, right? Bricked up? 
I, it's getting hard getting the sneeze out. Like it's, oh. it's trying to go back inside and I'm trying to get it out because I don't want to lose the sneeze, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sitting there, I'm trying to get it right. And I think I got it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know how the beginning of a sneeze and the beginning of a yawn are very similar? It's both a... Yeah, I'm going to yawn your actually mouth. right now. Yeah. Don't okay. say yawn. It makes me yawn. Or if people yawn around me, I'm yawning. Okay, well, I'm hoping that I'm not going to catch because I'm trying to tell a story. Okay, sorry. Anyway, sorry. so try to get the sneeze out. Go for the beginning of the sneeze, which get the deep inhale to sneeze. Mm -hmm. Transforms into a yawn. Mm. But at the end of the yawn, <laughs> I'm going to try to recreate it without actually needing to sneeze. So it's going to be tough. Yeah. But I kind of go... Oh. <laughs> I almost puked. Was it like a, a puke or like a sneeze puke? Like or just a yawn puke. It was a sneeze that turned into a yawn that made me gag. Oh no! Like something. I don't know if it tickled the. What, what's the thing in the back here? Uvula. The uvula. Actually, I think just girls have those. Or that's. Am I thinking of something else? No, I, I don't know what that's called. I've no. never seen one. I'm not married, so. No. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. But yeah, I tickled something back there and I just about lost Almost it. Almost died. Like, going down the high... <laughs> 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 That's bad. Yeah, uh, it's not as bad as what I've heard come out of you, though. Yeah, mine are fucked. Um, I doubt there's a doctor listening to they have dipshits talking. much better things to do. they got to save the world. They do have to save the world. Um, every once in a while, usually in the morning, ass crack of dawn. Yeah. It's either. It's, it is essentially my alarm now. Yeah. It's either when I wake up and eat or sometimes just when I wake up and like stand up. Yeah. I sneeze and then I sneeze again. Yeah. And it'll happen. 20 to 30 times of sneezing and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Cause like, I like sneezing. Like sneezing is a good time to me. Well, have you heard that one sneeze is a third of an orgasm? So yeah. So I wake just... up, have 10 right off the bat. Yep. But it's literally uncontrollable. I can't do anything. Sometimes it happens mid meal, mid breakfast. And I fucking love breakfast. So it starts happening in like, the middle of a nice fucking breakfast slam. I feel like <laughs> such shit after it. I can't touch my breakfast and then I'm just fucking mad. Like it's a really yeah. shitty way to start a day. And it, it's, it's awful. I'm tired. I'm near tears. Yeah. I can't eat after it. It's loud as fuck. Like I feel like a fucking dick when I do it. Well, we do live with a third gentleman who's not here at the moment. Mm -hmm. And... He often works nights, and sometimes when you wake me up with it, yeah, I'm. He's got to be a deep sleeper, because otherwise he'd be coming down here just giving it. To oh me. yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah. bad. Yeah, and occasionally it does happen when I'm driving, which is like, I have pulled over a couple times because I'm I can't I can't drive and sneeze twenty times in a row. Like it's just oh. not because you can't hold your eyes open when you sneeze. Your eyes will pop clean out of your yeah. Head. And it's not like back to back to back to back. It's like a sneeze, 20, 30 seconds maybe, sneeze. And it's just, it just keeps going. It doesn't stop. I'm having a bad time. There's snot everywhere. There's tears it's everywhere. So it's fucking mental. And I don't know what it is. No. Like I've, I've read up on it. It's like, oh, something happens in your stomach and it pushes up on your esophagus or your... Ooh, what's the one here? Diaphragm? Thank you, doc. You doctor. Not officially, but oh, okay, yeah, yeah. you have officially been diagnosed. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I have autism. Um, touch, touch. Yeah, it goes on my diaphragm. I guess it's your stomach stretches out too early in the morning. But sometimes it happens when I don't have any food. Yeah. So, and I have asked my doctor and she was like, I don't know what the no fuck idea. that is. I have no clue. No. So is it in a certain house that it happens, a certain room? It could be an allergy no. to something in the room. No, it's completely fucking random. 
Is it after a certain food? No, sometimes it's after no food. Yeah. So I just, I don't know what it is, but I... Yeah, we were in another province and you were having them left, right, and center. Yeah, thank Christ you were driving. Because yeah. that was a bad one. That was. That was <laughs> fucked. But at the end of it, too, it looks like you ran a marathon. You heard oh, yeah. bag. Yeah. Like, can't <laughs> breathe, sweaty as shit. That, that one, though, that was after the... um the microwavable breakfast sandwich where the egg looked like the scrub daddy. <laughs> you gonna tell that one too? Uh, that, that's quickie. <laughs> um, so we, when we wake up and go to work, it's early in, in the morning. Very. We start at seven. Sometimes it's about an hour drive to site. Yeah. So, you know, I don't want to be whipping out pots and pans, making bacon and eggies in the morning. It's just not going to happen. But you want to have a good breakfast. I want to have a hearty breakfast. A, a decent breakfast. Yeah. So, I went to Costco. Shout out Costco. Huge. Love shout Costco. Out Costco. Uh, and they Sponsor had the, the show if you want. You know. Wouldn't mind. I have a membership. I'm already in. You could upgrade it. The cool to a sponsorship instead of a membership. Well, just the higher member. Real quick. Okay. What's the difference? What do you get? I think one is more cash back. Because I, I, I oh. I'm guessing everything is the same. You go into Costco. You enter gonna, yeah. the cult. Yeah. And then you can buy whatever the hell you want. Yeah. But I think you get more perks with the right, So you get up. more cash back or better discounts on mobile yeah, devices something or like something? That. Which I just figured out. My brother is on my Costco account. How did he do that? My mom. So my mom, when I think I was 18, got me a Costco card. Yeah. Paid for the first year. It's been on me for the rest of it. Fucking sick gift. Yeah. Um, but it turns out <laughs> she added him on for free. So I pay for him and me. But your name's on the account. His is too. Well, his is an addition, right? Yeah, but just, the bill comes to me. Yeah, just don't renew his card. I can't. If I renew my card, it renews his card. I'm sure you can go to like member services in there and just be like, yo, there's this. Well, I also that's... like don't hate my brother. Yeah, fair enough. But like. Well, you were just complaining about him trying to give you answers. I just need you to listen. Sorry. Yeah. Any hooser. I got the... We learned that in counseling. Yeah. Breakfast sandwiches. And yeah. it's just like a little like Egg McMuffin type beat. You can't, um, you can't say that. We have to pay money. Shit. Um, bleep that out. It is a... English muffin. English muffin, egg. egg, bacon, cheese. There you go. Type beat. So, fire it in the microwave. I think it was like a buck thirty you put it in for. Yeah, it, it didn't it say only like a minute or something yeah, like uh, that? Yeah, well, which worked for everything on the Sando, Except but the, the egg, egg puck. Yeah, uh, the fucking scrub daddy egg. So, I like rip it out, take everything off, throw it back in, take it back out. I'm looking at it on the counter, like back out of the microwave to heat it up a little more. Looking at it at the counter, and I just start losing my mind. Like the early morning sillies, I have oh, a fucking oh, yeah. scrub daddy on my plate and I'm supposed to eat it. That literally looks like a little puck of foam, but it's egg, well, allegedly. I'm, I'm sitting there mucking down my cereal and like got my phone Big in my brand hand. Because you're fucking old. Yeah, I got to keep keep the guts flowing. Mm -hmm. Eating my bran. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there and you're microwave it. You keep putting it back in the microwave and you take it out and you turn around. It's on just a piece of fucking... Paper towel. No, it was on a plate. I don't think it was. I think it was a paper towel. Because I, I remember you turn around and you Semantics. go. Who put the fucking <laughs> a scrub daddy in my fucking sandwich? <laughs> what the fuck is this? The Italian just, hey, yeah. oh, what the fuck? It, it, it sprung out. It was it was upset. Oh, my God. Yeah. Good sandals, yeah. though. I didn't mind those. No. They, yeah. were, they were good. That's also where you first showed me about uh, pan frying pizza pops, which we talked about. Oh, yeah. Pan fried pizza pops. A couple episodes ago, yeah, I think. one of the ones at some point. Previous episode, we spoke about it. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, big moves there. We also they ate so good. a lot of salad there. Yeah, that kind of killed salad for yeah. me for a bit. Yeah. Because, yeah, we were, we'd split one of the big bags every day. Mm -hmm. And we tried every flavor. Yeah. And then it'd be like... Chicken titties or pizza pops. Well, we had crap chi dinner. chicken farmer John, chicken farmer John. Yes, chicken cordon Swiss. Yeah, which we had to drive a fucking hour to get because we're in the middle of butt fuck Saskatchewan. Yeah, hour fifteen Figure that there. Out Saskatchewan. Why is it only co-ops? Yeah. Put a fucking Walmart somewhere. 
Well, not Swift. There was, was uh, in Herbert. Big shout out. There is. Eh. Just wait. You'll remember, and you'll say big shout out too. Okay. There's. I think it was Mike's Grocer, a little tiny grocery store that had Fire Bakery. Oh, their bakery yeah. was busting. Big yeah. shout that out was really to good. if Mike, Mike's think, running the the bakery there yeah. too. Big shout out. You can sponsor for free on that one. We'll give you the shout out. You know. Thank yeah. you, Mike. Guy made uh, unbelievable baked goods. It was super good. Like hole in the wall. I guess not really hole in the mini grocery store. Yeah. In the middle of town. Just unbelievable yeah. bakery. I might move to Herbert just for that bakery. I don't think I can move to Herbert. We've been in a lot of small towns. Herbert wasn't the worst. No. Far from the best. What was the worst place we've been? Hodgeville. Well, yeah, but that's essentially where we stayed when we were working Have we out of Herbert. Have we that on here? I think so. Yeah, we talked about the Dami. Oh. I think. There's... Domestic. I'll, I'll go back, and if not, we'll do it on the next yeah, episode. Yeah. We'll talk about that. that it's was, a gutter. Yeah, that was a good fucking one. welcome to Saskatchewan. Holy shit. Also, that was the most angry I have ever been over a milkshake. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Well, we haven't said anything about that. I know that we haven't said no, anything about that. No, we can talk about that. Yeah, because yeah. what, we went we went to Thompson Lake Golf Course? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, um, just a little small... Nine hole. Uh, very nice, though. Very nice. Uh, very two nice. hours south-ish of Swift Current. Yeah. Um, and on the way back, <laughs> you know the classic uh, freel or something? It's like real, you, you, yeah. Yeah, you take the cup out of the freezer, you put it in the yeah. little mixing machine, you choose the thickness of milkshake. Yeah, it, it goes, <laughs> and yeah, then and you get a milkshake. Hammers it. it. Yeah. And it's, it's a good time. Yeah. So I get mine, and I'm yeah. just well chuffed. Like, like you it was were a so happy chocolate brownie or something. I was loving my life. Yeah. And then uh, this clown decides to try it. I, I rip it out of the freezer, peel the lid off. It's I think I got chocolate mocha yeah. or mocha mocha milkshake, something like that. Probably something stupid. Stop. Fuck it was Reese. That's what it was. It was. Oh, okay. I can't say that. that. It was peanut butter that. chocolate. Yeah. So rip it out. I'm all excited because you got, yeah, your chocolate brownie, which was good. But I was like, oh, there's a Reese's or there's a peanut butter chocolate one in the back. Peanut butter chocolate. Bleep that out. Yeah. I, I only said re and then I caught myself. Re what do you? Re. re oh, so I was reaching in the back for the re chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. I think peanut that's butter. worse. I think, mm. Let me tell the damn story. Sorry. Reaching in the back for the chocolate peanut butter milkshake. Grab it out. Lid off. Machine. Fresh after your use. It did its little clean cycle or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, put it in, hit the button, and it goes. What's what it? What are you doing with your hand there? Milkshake, yeah. Oh, no. you idiot. It's lifting the milkshake in and then let You're it back the one out. Fucking... Stop swearing. We're going to get demonetized. Sorry. Yeah, you can bleep it out. Do you know how much work that is? Anyway. Nah. So this idiot broke the milkshake machine. He's just jealous because I had a milkshake and he didn't. Yeah. Then I had to get one of those stupid little uh, big popular coffee brand. Mm -hmm. Overly expensive popular coffee yes, brand. Yes. In a bottle that's named after one of their other drinks that are far better than what's in the little bottles and was not nearly as happy. Yeah. That yeah. sucks for you. Yeah. That was tough. I didn't even give him any. You didn't. Like, I didn't grab a cup and split it. I just, I ate it because yeah. it's mine. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Thank you for tasted that. tasted really good. I love I it. I bet it did. Oh, yeah. Do you know what else uh, tastes good? Hmm. Some questions from our listeners. No, no. Dog sucking season. Yesterday. Oh, we do have to talk about dog We got off season. work. It's sunny. It's 10 the grease. Yes. Fantastic weather. It was beautiful. Beautiful weather. We head down to the old burger spot. Yes. Get us a couple milkshakes. We also can't shout out the burger spot because apparently they're owned by a Lebanese mafioso. Yeah. Hey ho. Um, anyway. And we got a couple dogs. And milkshakes. Already said milkshakes. You I'm imbecile. emphasizing the milkshakes because they were fire. What flavor did you get? I got 
my peanut butter. Oh, right. Chocolate. We got the same one. Yeah. We got a uh, peanut butter we, chocolate We often cup. match. We got the exact same meal. Yeah. Yeah. But the dogs were so good. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Like the snap. Bite, snap. Good. Like the crunchy, crunchy, glizzy skin. Yeah. But I like the one where like, you gotta really chew at it. No, it's just like enough it's, to snap out your teeth. Yeah, it's just not like, charred from the barbecue, but mm -hmm. it, the, the skin is taunt. Yeah. The um, the bun was good. Um, yeah. A firmer outside, moist inside. How was the inside of the bun? Moist. Okay, say it one more time. Moist. For the people in the back. Uh, the ketchup and mustard. Yeah, there you go. Perfectly portioned. Yeah, that's true. Um, and that was my first hot dog in... For you, not long. Well, a couple weeks. Uh, so I went to Mexico recently. Yeah, you told them. Yeah. And one of the staples on that trip for me was hot dogs. So near the bar that would stay open the latest, it was like a two, three minute walk to a really like nice hot dog spot. It was like a kind of burger and hot dog joint. So I'd get there, you know, have my drinks, scoot on over, grab a hot dog, maybe two. Go back, a couple more drinks. We'd walk over to the uh, the disco, which was right beside the hot dog spot. So, you know, before the disco, I'd jump in, grab a hot dog. Go into the disco, drink and dance. I'll be back in five minutes, going to grab another hot dog. Leave the disco before we go back. Gliz. And at the beach, they had... A bain marie, like a heating thing, with the with the top on it and keep things warm. And you could go over, flip it open. There was thirty dogs in there. So boiled dogs, or were they like? I don't grilling. actually think I cared at that point. Yeah, I was you. like, it's a hot dog. Yeah, I'm on the beach. That's fair. I don't give a shit. But my rough calculations for the I guess five full days that I was there is about 70 hot dogs. That's a lot of hot dog meat to put in one person's body. Yeah, my guts were a war zone. But I was so happy. Like, that was one of the only things I ate. Actually, that's not true. I ate quite a bit of other stuff. But I ate a ton of hot dogs. So, I technically started glizzy season early. You started, what was that, February you went? Middle of February, yeah. Yeah, because you're out around Valentine's Day, right? I was there for Valentine's yeah. Day, yes. Yeah. So I started it early. We started the it's official like Canadian yeah. glizzy season uh, yesterday. Yeah, so yesterday would have been March 12th. Yeah, it's kind of poopy out today. It's not great out today. No. Today's not dog sucking season. No, it's... We might have been pre-season at that point. Mm, but yeah, we preed. We definitely preed on the dog sucking gliz bomb season. We were just doing a... Like a warm-up lap. Yeah, test run. Test run. Like, hey, guys. Yeah. We're, we're getting there. Exactly. We're getting close. Yeah. But at a cookout. Yes. There's an option. There's burgers. There's dogs. What are you taking? Both. 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 Okay. If I had to pick one, I'm going a bunch of hot dogs. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, a cookout burger is good. It's good. But a cookout dog, no, where like bad. somebody's been having a beer and they've been grilling up the dogs and they mm -hmm. forgot about them for a minute, so they do that thing where they split open. Mm. Oh, so good! But here's another question for you: mm -hmm. They got dogs, or like cheddar smokies on there, and the smokies are all charred at the split. Look over here. Yeah, dogs. Really, nothing for me at a cookout over dogs could beat a dog. If there's like steaks, pork, like proper barbecue, yeah, I'm having that proper barbecue. But you're also having dogs. But I'm having multiple dogs. Okay, but, but if you had like several dogs already and they put some Smokies on, are you not going to have a Smoky? Maybe. I'm content with dogs. Really? Okay. Like just a, your classic, what the fuck meat is this hot dog? I love it. It's just the best. It is good. We should have gotten dogs to eat this week while we were here. Yeah. Oh, well, there's no barbecue here, so that kind of sucks. How many hot dogs do you think you can crush one sitting? You know what? With the bun. I, I was thinking about this. I think that needs to be an episode. Yeah. I think that that is not a question to answer here. I think that that's a 
we film each other eating hot dogs hmm. and probably in a completely non sexual way. 100%. Yeah. And like, not like one of those like timed runs where, oh, I got 15 minutes. Like, we do an episode and the whole time we just eat dogs and yeah. see like, hammer dogs. So I guess it is time, but we got like a full hour to just, just eat dogs till we can't. Yeah, I might need more than an hour. Like, I can, as it turns out, I can crush dogs. Like, all day long. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm full. I'm crushing hot dogs. Put hot dogs in your macaroni? Occasionally, yeah. Yeah. But I, I like macaroni just straight. Yeah. Like I don't like throwing all sorts of weird shit in it in the pot. And like, I've seen people, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, like homemade macaroni mm -hmm. with like bacon and they put like that crust oh, on the yeah, top. Yeah. That's finish her off in the ovens. But we're talking like Canadian style craft dinner. Well, bleep that out. It's in the box. You know which one it is. Draft Crinner. Mac and That's cheese. That's got to be allowed. That's definitely allowed. That's yeah. not a brand name. That's Draft Crinner. Yep. But just straight that. That's that's the move. I'm okay with that. Sometimes I'll go with the white cheddar and disappoint myself a little. I like the spicy cheddar one. They spicy cheddar is good. White cheddar is like... It's I expected meant. it to be like the white cheddar popcorn that you get in the bags. That's not, not that. Yeah. That's, not that's what I wanted from it, but that's not what they delivered. Yeah. On. So, Close you on that. You ever get the extra creamy? Not really. I'll just save a little of the water. Yeah. And just dump it's, it in and cream thing. it up a little bit. When you were growing up, do you remember for a brief period, the draft crinner came with like a liquid cheese instead of the powder? I never remember that, no. But I recently had a off-brand type of macaroni and cheese in the box. Oh. Uh, high protein version. Oh, yeah. Some of you might know what it is. That's a good and one. And it had like the, it was essentially cheese spread. Yes, that's, I and, think that's what it was. But the powder, whatever that is, it's good. I think when they did it, I think it was Wee's Chiz. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wheeze trees. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Any can I get to the questions or are you? Which questions do you have? I actually have a lot, so we're not doing them all today. Okay. So I apologize to anybody I missed, but we're going to start at the oldest. Oh, those world. questions. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. these from, from listeners. I thought you meant from our other thing that we're doing today. Do we have time? We got lots of time. We can do all the time that we need. So this one is from No Name. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Name. I think it's, I'm going to say it's a misname, but I don't want to oh. misidentify. Yeah, jail. So. Straight to jail. Why did you guys start a podcast? You talked about how you became friends, but not how you decided to start this. Boredom. <laughs> Literally boredom. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of downtime in our job. Um, yeah. Well, we had talked about this way back. And then it was kind of like a side idea. We were like, maybe we'll do it. And yeah. Blah, and we joked about, oh, well, we should quit and start a podcast. And then one day, I think, we there's an episode where we had some admin staff come into an environment where admin people don't belong. <laughs> And they came in and blue collar men are not adaptable quickly. Mm -mm. They like to, they've got a way to do something and they continue down that path. We don't like change. We don't like change. So these uh, admin people came in and took everything we were doing one day. And by the following day, it was completely different. They changed the way everything ran overnight. And upset everybody a lot. I think most yeah. of the people that were here for that, the important people that were here for that are gone. Yes. Some of the people that are a little more stronger willed, they're still here. And uh, we are still here, but we're not strong willed. We mm -hmm. just. It's paying the bills. It's paying the bills. Yeah. yeah. So irregardlessly, I think that sparked it because. Just yeah. the anger of that. We were like, I can't do this forever. I need something else. And we were like, why don't we just talk and see if we make any money, which we still don't. Yeah, because we're going to do it anyway. We're, we're going to blab. We anyway, may so. as well. There's a Hold on. But yeah, I think that's how we started. 
Yeah. Just yeah. hatred and boredom. Hatred. Yeah. Okay, so that was the first uh, one. <coughs> Tastes like that chicken burrito. So I'm going to read out the beginning of this email because I'm super excited about it, but I'm not going to read out the like unique number and the after the at symbol, okay? Okie doke. It's PBJ Butter. PBJ peanut, Butter. Peanut butter, jelly, butter. You could you could put butter on like the jam side. Especially if you did toast. Like if you have oh, toast oh, in the morning. Honey, yeah. Put a little butter on there and then you do your peanut butter jam. Yeah, you could do P that. What was PBJ Butter? PBJ Butter. PBJ Butter. Yeah. Okay. So whoever that is. Nice move. Yeah. Respect. What movies do you like? All right, there's several questions. So what movies do you like? The Gentleman is, I think, my favorite movie ever. It's a good movie. I fucking love that. It's a good movie. Uh, I recently watched The Beekeeper with Jason Statham. Mm. Uh, loved that movie. Oh, I'm Jason Statham. That was impressive. We, we got a job. What's do the do job? it looking at the camera, though. I'm, I'm Jason Statham. This girl over there he used to be no flame of mine. I'm gonna go and have sex with her. We got a job. Ah, uh, no friend of mine from a past life. You got a job. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen that TikTok? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this guy probably thinks I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> I mean, I do anyway. Well, yeah, but... yeah, yeah. Okay, moving forward. Yeah. Favorite food. Which is a really tough one. I mean, you did just talk about glizzies, Ooh. so don't talk about glizzies okay. here. No, I don't think my favorite food of all time is glizzies. Yeah, because of all time, like, if, I think they're talking, like, last meal. Death Row dinner. Oh, it's going to be Indian. Really? Yeah. I'm split on butter chicken and samosa chat. Samosa chat is so fire. Anybody that hasn't have it? Go to your local Indian place and ask. Yeah. It's so samosas, chutneys, oh, spices, chickpea. It's, it's, it's spicy, it's, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's it's oh, it's yeah, it's very good. Phenomenal. And it's it was a little it's a little cold though. That's it's like it throws you off. It's that soup Get after cold it. soup. Oh I know what you're talking about. The cold soup. The cold yes. soup. It's like yeah. cold soup, whatever that is called. Yes. That's going to actually eat me alive. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to go grandma's lasagna. That good? It was that good. <laughs> yeah. Can't have that one anymore, so I think. Yeah. Plus, that'd be a great get off of death row because it'd be like, well, we can't give you your last meal, so I guess you're free. That's true. Yeah. Or anything bottomless. Yeah. Like, well, keep going. I'm not done yet, actually. Although, you know what? Speaking of bottomless, though, you and me got into a shrimp ring the other night. Yeah, that we made quick gone. work of that. That thing was gone. So much mercury poisoning right now. God, it's so good. Yeah, what was it? 36 shrimps in like... 10 minutes? Me. A little under 10, probably. Yeah. yeah we but we did let it unsaw for, what, a day and a half? Yeah, that was stupid. That was ridiculous. Why, fucking, why it's going on? Why right? are we freezing them? Maybe Keep it's the mercury. Cool. It's the mercury. If Maybe the, mercury, when it freezes, just keeps it cold for longer. I don't know. I, I don't like mercury. I don't know how that works. Um, so those are the two questions. And then it says, the usual basic questions for us to get to know you. Can you guys do some YouTube videos? Would be cool to watch you argue. <laughs> <laughs> Would be cool to watch us argue. So they... PBJ Butter actually understands what this is about because yeah. it's just a place for you and me to argue. Yeah. So that the world has to listen. It's like a therapy session. Yeah. But it's one that I can go back on and realize, yes, I was right the whole time. And you're a giant idiot. Just stop. Anyway. Don't. Don't. Um, started listening on my way to work. Nice job. Thank you, PBJ. Yeah, it's a hard working man right there. Mr. Butter. Shout out, Mr. Butter. Mr. Butter. Okay, next one. This is from somebody hiding behind an email. It's from 1234 
at 1234.com. I'm not even going to bother apologizing if that is their legitimate email, because what are you doing? It's a stupid email. Stupid, you're a stupid that's guy. That's a stupid email. You're, or, we don't know yet. You're a stupid person. Yeah, stupid person. Because your comment just says, wow, dot, dot, dot. Sucks. Just stop. Shut up. We're not making it for you. Yeah. We're making it for the other 2,500 something hey. people listening. Well, are they Almost. all? There's 24, just about 2,500 people on YouTube subscribed. Yeah. And most of our episodes are about 17 to 1,800 views. Thank you. Big. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You don't have to listen. Suck me. There's, I don't know how many other podcasts that do exactly what we do there are out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot. Go, Go listen to one of them. Go piss them off. You piss me off. One, two, three, four, you anyway, pass hat. You could be a good person, but you don't have to be rude. No, else. no. You suck. I hope your kids get bird flu. Oh, we're doing this one. I need your reaction, so I need you to look straight into that camera right up there. You see that one? That one right there? Right Not there? that one, that one? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. So this is from our, I got to cover it because I can't say this name. Our, our, our DN. Uh, what the fuck are Adrian, you doing? Adrian, the name at the bottom. Y yeah. Adrian. Good job. Shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. Holy. Look in the camera. Hi guys. Lots of exclamation marks. Love the show. Comma. Mitch is cute. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> well, no, that's two for me now. You did have uh, the gentleman that yeah. was... Yeah, one of them... Uh, you can give him a little shout out if you want. I don't know what his stuff is. There was a, uh, a gentleman of homosexual nature. Are you sure? You, I looked are at you his assuming? I, no, I looked at his Instagram... No doubt in my mind. Yeah. No problem with that either. I actually... You were flattered. I am more flattered when guys find me attractive because I feel like gay guys have like more of a... More of like a niche. And I'm very happy that I fit into that for some of them. So, gay guy on Instagram who commented saying I was cute or something like that? Sexy? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Right back yeah. at you, buddy. And you got Adrian also. Yeah. Oh, could be a... No, that's a lady way to spell. I think it's Adrienne. Adrienne? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Could also be a guy. We Mitch know. is cute. Thank you. Um, can you guys do an episode where you stay in a haunted house again? Maybe a oh, log of it. The windmill. Potentially. Yeah. We could definitely probably do uh, that. Uh, mm, I might actually get too scared. We... <sighs> Giant pussy. Huge, huge pussy. Huge. Huge. Both of us. Yeah. We are very jumpy. And yeah, that's going to be a disaster. We, we do know of one that coworkers have stayed at. Yeah. And it's like they're dead set. Like this is haunted. Yeah. So potentially we could do that. Yeah. And they also say here, maybe vlog. So they want to vlog of too us. busy. Screaming. We need to emptying many poos, but well, we're adult diapers when we do that one. Yeah, we'll go in idea. during the day when hopefully the ghosts are asleep. We'll set up some cameras. They, they're nocturnal, right? I think so. Okay. Most like if you look at any horror movie, which is where I'm getting all my info for this. Yeah, it happens at night. It happens at nighttime. Nobody's getting scared during the day. So we go in no. there. We set up some cameras. Bing, bang, boom. Show up. We spend the night there. Try to and. See how far into it. Because yeah. I, I reckon we got 15 minutes of somebody banging on a wall and we're done. Yeah. Pretty much once the sun sets. That's it for me. I'm gone. So there are three more. Mm -hmm. You want to do them? Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay. Why not? Um, I believe I read this one to you the other day. It says, <clears throat> you guys should do a tour on ruckuses, which are like little mopeds. Oh, yes, yes, yes. In Alberta. Do quad trails all the way to the north, which we will die on. That we'll is die. a death sentence. Yeah. yeah. Also, check out the Athabasca Sand Dunes, which happened to be in Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. 
Imagine if you set up to film there. We yeah. could get a couple launchers, go on top of a sand dune, film an epi, and then muck around on ruckuses for... Yeah. For or this, like old banshees. For Jeffrey. Old banshee quads. That'd be pretty sweet. That'd be super cool. Like, think about the Athabasca sand dunes. What are they doing up there? What? What are they doing up there? What are they, what are they doing? It's a desert. In That's... It's not even like in British Columbia, there's deserts. Yeah. The British Columbia, like the Okanagan Valley, mucho, mucho caliente. Yeah. It gets fucking hot there. But this is like the Sahara, but just randomly... Northern Saskatchewan. Like on the border of none of the Northwest Territories. Yeah, the coldest up places there. you can go. Yeah. Who? Who? Why? Who? Was that Harper? Did Harper do that? Stephen Harper? Maybe it was aliens. What Egypt is, what is directly across from that part of Saskatchewan? Is that Egypt? Is that the pyramid? Is that a toe poking? It has to be. A toe what? A toe poking? Out, out of the means. sand? Like the pier like the Sphinx has got toes? Oh, is it it's one the of Sphinx's his? little beans. Yeah. Uh, I thought what? the earth was flat. Golden Globe theory. Oh, oh yeah. You think that the earth old is flat. Um Idiot. maybe. Maybe it's like the Sphinx's litter box. It's a long way to go. Just to it's poop. a long, but why, why else would it be there? He's also got that whole other desert that he lives in. He's a big guy. He likes to roam. Anyway, keep up the podcast, bro. Much love from SoCal. I've been repping you guys to everyone I know. So big shout out to Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeff. From SoCal. From SoCal. I hope you're enjoying the weather. You lucky bastard. Uh, this one is from Mar Marcella. Hi, I just wanted to give you a heads up that your internet shop is amazing. Shout out internet shop. I built that somehow. Mm, it was on a website. He typed in a couple things and it built it for him. I did, I did. I'm not good with computers, so I'm quite proud of this one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so actually this one came in today. I haven't even pre-read this one. So this is from Nicole. Hey guys. What's up? I love the podcast so far. Cool. I have a more somber question for you about yourselves. Wish I knew what that meant. Uh, sad. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want A little more sad. How do you deal with traveling? I just started traveling with work. And being away from family is so hard. That that is a more somber yeah. question. Yeah. Um, Almost got you stumped. Having an idiot uh, that travels with you. Don't try to be all all mushy is, gushy here. It's quite nice. I'll kiss you. Cause you, I'll kiss you. you I did on the you lips. Won't, you won't. Stop. My uh, mustache is so soft right now. Stop. It's so soft right now. Get back um, to Jordan. Having an absolute meathead that travels around with you. You, you understand things could be worse. You could be, <laughs> you could be that. And it's not much better because you have to deal with that. Mm, yeah. Um, and you know, call FaceTime. Yeah. Uh, it is, it's, it is tough to get used to. It takes a long time to acclimate. Yes, to but this lifestyle, I find that it gives you a good chance to miss people, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Cause I mean, yeah. Yeah. If I could see my girlfriend every day, that'd be fantastic. But when we don't see each other for a week, a couple weeks, when you do see them, it's that much better Yeah, because you get the chance to miss them. It's basically, it's giving me and her zero chance to get sick of each other because I literally, 90% of my time is with you. I'd say more than that. Yeah. It's like obscene. We spend a couple weekends at home a month. Yeah. If we're lucky. If not, it's minimum every six weeks we get a couple days at home. Yeah. So, yeah. I think, yeah, the FaceTime, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. You FaceTime, you call. Every day on my drive home from work, I call my girlfriend. Um, yeah. It's kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
But this is also not the forever plan. No, no, no. Do this no, no. for maybe five years and then you'll... Yeah, it's yeah. a good good way to chase a bag. Yeah, for a brief period of time. Yeah, but you, you, can't, you can't do it forever. No. It's definitely not a long-term plan. I don't want to bring your energy down, but I think it would help us who can sympathize with your situation. From Nicole. Nicole, you. you got this, brother. Just survive on those pizza pops. Yeah. If it's hotels, I'm sorry, oh. those suck. I got a comment on that one. Okay. If your company is putting you up in hotels, pitch to them to put you up in Airbnbs. Mm -hmm. Because they are often cheaper, so the company likes that. And having a kitchen? Fantastic. That changed our lives. Yeah. Staying in a hotel, eating microwave food or restaurant food? Sucks. You get... You can't. No. I got... Now, in life, I got three days of hotel in me, and then I think I would quit. Yeah. I'd rather camp in a tent every night. Yeah. That is Honestly, because... And we'll probably end up doing that at some point here, because yeah. it'll be better. Bam. Also, if you are getting put up in a hotel, get those points, girl. Do it. Yeah. Figure out whatever point system the hotel is on. Cash in on those. If the company's paying for it, you're racking the points. You're never paying for a hotel again. That, yeah. A little, little tidbit for you. Especially if it's on a company card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if you book through your company and they have somebody booking for you, it's a little harder to get the points. But if you're kind of in charge of your own thing, like a lot of people traveling are, yeah. that is the way to do it. That yeah. and gas points if you can get them. Mm -hmm. Big time gas points. Some companies lock up their gas cards so you can't. Yeah. If you get lucky like us, you can put in your points number before you pay. And <laughs> I don't know if we can get audited for that. But <laughs> uh, anyway. Ooh. Yeah, so maybe Edit we'll that out. We'll cut that part. But yeah, do what you can with hotels. Mm -hmm. um, but that is all of our questions now answered. So right. thank you everybody that except for mr one two three four yeah that guy can you can suck it yeah not a no, good back side of my balls on a sweaty take day. the time out of your day to talk to us we already have shitty lives yeah we have to live together yeah why you why you make it worse man? yeah i have to deal with us all day and then i have to deal with you being a piece of shit dude that basement is doing something to me like it's every once in a while there'll be a night that's like a stupid cold and just like muggy down there that was last night then my fucking throat feels like a train wreck the next day. Like, I feel, <clears throat> me feel fine. Throat feel. Bad. Did you sneak down last night? You son of a bitch. Oh, Boom, two last night. He was fucking hanging Boom's out with me Boom's the dog we stay with. Boom's the dog we stay with. He was hanging out with me down there. Nice. Did you get to snuggle him? Uh, for a little. I got him up for a little. Yeah. And then he just moseyed down and he was chilling on the floor. I think he gets toasty because he is a husky. Yeah, so. he lo he lo I think he loves that floor down there. Yeah. It's just ice cold. Yeah. I put my fucking skates on at the bottom of the stairs, scoot over the bed. It's fucking freezing down there. Anyway. Uh, so no, no, because I'm doing this. You can't do this on camera. You just talked about the dog, and that's going to all get edited in. Yeah. Edited well, don't look at the camera then. You can do that on camera. This? Yeah. Can't porn stars can't do it? Why not? I don't know. I saw a David David Dobrik vlog that Emily Willis was in, and she's like, "Oh, can I jewel?" He's like, "Yeah." She's like, "Oh, you can't jewel in porn," which is like weird because like you're, huh? We doing porn? No, not right now. Later. Also, maybe. porn couples aren't married. Don't love each other. No. Yeah. I've, been, I've been on a hiatus. Can't. No, not rest of my life. Yeah. Damn. I'm married. Not even common law. Do they even know each other? Or do they just meet up? Like, is that a profession? <gasps> do you think those van things are real? Where it's like they pull a guy off the street and they're like, Yo, look at this chick's massive knockers. You want a wanna pipe? I do not think those are real. I don't think those are real either. There's no way. I don't think so. No, I, no dude is that lucky. Where's the STD check on this? Well, that, that's the other thing. There's too. no way. No chance. Fake. Fan bus? Fake. Fake. Unless you want to swing by. Anyway. Are you uh, are you good to go now? Yeah, what are we going to talk about? So, as has become almost a tradition, mm -hmm. we have to do a mini game at some point during this, okay? Okay. 
So I know I told you about this before, so you don't have to act all surprised for yep. the viewers. I have my questions right here. Um, we are doing, are you smarter than a child? Yeah, a person in uh, a grade that comes after four. Maybe below six. Yeah, between those two. Somewhere in there. Yeah. So now, mine is going to be for you because I do have the answers, but I also get to put them in. Okay. So, and when I say that, I mean I have to select the answer you say, and then it'll tell me the answer. Mm -hmm. I've tested it. So, we're going to start off with the easy questions Thank for you. you. Yeah? Yep. You going to start same with me, or are you going to go straight for the hard ones? No, I'll go easy. Okay. Which is the fastest bird on foot? On foot? On foot. Ostrich. That is... It's correct. Correct. You want me to hit you? You want me just to fly through them here? Or are you no, I'll hit you. Back and forth. forth. Okay. Capital. Oh, what is the capital of Russia? Moscow. Bing, bing, boom. I did know that one. I was mm -hmm. going to say capitals. I'm not going to do well, but. Yeah, capital letters. Which planet is closest to the sun? Son of a. Mercury. Correct. Let's go. <laughs> you got a little flustered on that a one. A <laughs> little bit. Uh, I might leave that one for later. Tough one? Uh, uh, potentially. Damn, I should have used that one as the capital one. Can I do two capitals? You can do as many. I got 30 questions, so we can keep going. What is the capital of Straya? It's not Sydney. That's the one that always throws me off. It's Mel Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne? No. I only know Sydney and Melbourne. Canberra. That one's always a jammer. That's a jammer. No one, no one knows that is. Sydney Opera House. Yeah. Melbourne Bounce. I feel like Sydney should be Perth. because everybody, yeah, even Perth. Um, a heptagon is a shape with how many sides? Mm. Uh, seven. Yes. Let's go. That a boy. Woo. On the periodic table, uh -huh, don't. which element is represented by the letter N? N? N. As in? Nice. Nitrogen. Bing, bang, boom. How long is one regular term for a member of a house of res representatives in the U.S. of A? Cuatro año. How many? Four years. That's wrong. What? Now, I'll rephrase and I'll give you one more shot. A member of House of Re Representatives. Not the president. The president's four. I don't know what a House of a Representative person is. I think it's just how long is a house belong to a representative. Does he own the house? I don't know. The answer is two years. Yeah. Okay. I would not have gotten that Yeah, one. guy's not the president. Not fucking important. Okay. Clinical name for the thigh bone. This guy? Yeah, that guy. Femur. Which of the following states is not bordering the Gulf of Mexico? Texas, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Louisiana. <clears throat> Louisiana, Texas, Florida are. Louisiana, Texas, Florida. So you've got Alabama and Georgia left. Yeah. Oof, Alabama's down there. So is Georgia. Yeah. Georgia's right by Florida there. I'm going to say Georgia is not on the Gulf of Mexico. Do you want to lock that in? Yes. Correct. Woohoo! Whose picture is on the American $5 bill? Jackson. One more guess. Franklin's the Benji. Mm -hmm. Lincoln's the Penny. No idea. Lincoln. Lincoln. He's on both, I think. He's on both. Yeah. Okay. I did not know that. Oh, I mean, he did a pretty big thing. He freed many a folk. Yeah. What is the largest South American country by area? And I will give you the answers here because I know you don't know geography. 
I think I know what it is, but thank you, yes. Why don't you give me your answer, and then I'll read them off, and I'll and then you can take... If your answer's not in these, you can re-guess. South America, I want to say Brazil. That is one of the answers. Do you want to lock that in, or do you want me to read them off? That's one of the answers in there? That's one of the answers... or Well, that's one of the multiple choice answers that are in here. Argentina in there? Do you want me just to read them? Sure. Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Mexico, Peru. Ooh. Oh. Mexico. Look in there. Final answer, Mexico. Lock it in? Yeah. Incorrect. Brazil, your first answer. Stupid idiot. (laughs) You dumb piece of shit. What was the name of the last Queen of France? And no, it's not the Queen of France. That's cheating. Damn it. Charlotte Baguette. Close. Marie Antoinette. Ah, oh, okay. Very close. Yeah. <laughs> Almost had it. Who was the first person to step on the moon? Louis Armstrong. As he dreamed, agree. Um, no. Neil. Also Armstrong. There you go, yeah. Largest and deepest ocean in the world is what? Specific. Specific ocean. Yep. Correct. Man, some of these, I don't know who knows the answer to, but... Yeah, I've been going through a few of these, and some like, of them are like, you tell toddlers these questions, and some of them I don't think they would tell in university. Here's a good one. What state is the Grand Canyon in? <clears throat> Do you want the uh, multiple choice? Yeah. California. Arizona. North Dakota. New Mexico. South Dakota. Is it multiple? Because I know the Grand Canyon's pretty big. The Grand Canyon, like the part that is grand, is resides one. within one state. Eh, Arizona. Lock it in. Arizona. Correct. Let's go. One inch is equal to how many centimeters? 2.54. Bingo. How, this question is worded strangely. How larger is Russia in size than the United States approximately? A bit. Twice, thrice, it's the same size. Five times, four times. I know it's not the same size. I'm going to say twice. Correct. Let's go. Uh, Irregardlessly. Espresso. Can they find us somewhere? First place you got to look. H-A-Y-N-Podcast.com. Merch is available. Merch is available. You got that one right. Thank you. All of our other stuff is on there. The Instagrams, the Twitters. The podcast platforms. What's the, uh, what's the username for a lot of those? H a y n underscore podcast. I'm getting so good. Yeah. Um, this YouTube video, please like, please subscribe, comment if you leave want a to. comment. Uh, Give not like Mister One Two Three Four. Please, I will be very upset. I can only deal with maybe a couple more of those. Yeah, you don't deal with uh, rejection. Very no, well, it's so. very bad. Yeah, yeah, it's really bad. Um, yeah, leave a comment. Leave a question. Tell me I'm pretty again. That was very nice. That was pretty. That, you were um, cute. Yeah, that's what they did say. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, can they listen to us anywhere? Anywhere you find your podcasts. As in? Spotify. And? Apple Podcasts. And? iHeart Music. iHeart Radio. And? Chromecast. And? Uh... Is there other ones? Oh, yeah. Jesus. One of the ones were... Pocket Cast, Overcast, Cast That's Box. Clouds. <laughs> Cumulonimbus. <laughs> Cirrus. AM Radio, FM Radio. You can't not find us there yet. Not oh. AM Radio. Not AM Radio. Oh, we FM, put, it, we put it on there for the old people. Yeah. That still use AM. Yeah. Or farmers who only get AM reception. Yeah, poor guys. Anyway, um, Yeah. Thanks for listening, or thanks for watching. And if you like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you.
we're uh, well on our way to doing this more often. Yeah. Significantly more than we thought for 16 days in. That's not bad. That's not, not bad. bad. Not bad. But uh, I reckon we'll probably talk to you. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll talk to you. And, uh, probably talk to you. And we'll talk to you. We'll talk to you.